Welcome to another episode of Spin Formation, where we take a deep look into music genres. I'm your host, Brittany Alexandra, and I am so happy to be here. We're here in Cambridge, Ontario, and we're here to check out Mill Ponds, records, and books. Let's go take a look. So thank you so much, Colin, for having us. We were talking about vinyl and how, uh, in particular, jazz throughout the years is still consistently being bought. Why do you why do you think that is? Um, I just think it's one of those genres that kind of persistently influences all different types of music. So the musicians that are creating this music are listening to that, and those rhythms and ideas are influencing what they're doing. Um, I'm, it's interesting that you have like. Um, books as well as records. Do you find that there's a lot of overlap? Like are people who are really interested in a certain type of artist buy the vinyl as well? Like do they come kind of come part and parcel? To a or? degree. Like certainly with the music biographies and the, um, you know a lot of people will be browsing and then something will catch their eye and they'll pick up books that way. Um, and some people just come in and they're they're like, I love music, I love books, this place is like the best for me, and yeah. we'll browse all over, right? Cool. So, yeah. yeah, it's definitely complimentary, and that was a real draw for us to, to um, take the place over. Yeah. When the couple heard the shop was closing down, they jumped at the opportunity. Said that the store was going to be closing, so um, we kind of used it as an opportunity to uh, change our careers a little bit. Colin and Christine have plenty ideas for Mill Pond's future. We're actually going to have our first um, DJ show sort of thing uh, next Friday, so we would love to have more live music um, in the space. Thanks so much, guys, for joining us on another episode of Spin Formation. I can't wait to go home and listen to my new Coltrane record. <laughs>